Hey everybody, Forrest here with Fofo Astro, and today we're gonna to be filming a video where we fix a certain problem with the flip flat that I think a lot of you may have encountered if you own one of these and use a smaller telescope. The problem basically occurs because the flip flat is designed for a much larger telescope than an 80 millimeter. In fact, if we take this flip flat and we put it on an 80 millimeter scope, let me do it over on this side, you can see that the scope is nowhere near centered in the area of the flip flat. That's kind of the ideal position to get the flattest field and we're more like this. And this is even the small version of the flip flat. They make a bigger one that would be even worse of a problem. So the solution is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these two screws right here and build a spacer block to fit between this gold kind of dovetail style thing or I guess U-shaped piece of aluminum and this black motor block. So basically take this gold piece and fit it out an inch or so and that will force the telescope more into the center of the flip flat. Should be a pretty easy mod and what it'll allow us to do is instead of the flip flat being mounted like this, the flip flat will be more mounted like that. So as far as what I'm gonna use, I actually have a leftover block of plastic from the next dome. I think it's HDPE plastic, just kind of a big, it's kind of that translucent white plastic. I'm gonna bring that into my shop, cut it down to the exact right size here, take those screws out. We'll have to take the motor assembly apart and see what those screws screw into, but we'll get that piece cut and then we'll come back here and we'll see what we end up with for how to attach it all and get it working again. So here we are. What I've done is I went ahead and got uh, some screws here from the hardware store. Let's see if I can get that to focus for you all. There we are right there. Um, they ended up being uh, number six by 32. Um, and I got two inch long screws. Obviously the length of screw is gonna depend on what you um, build yourself for a spacer, but just some standard uh, machine screws with a nice head and it is a six by 32 is what they have, at least in my version of the flip flat. Um, but you can use one of those kind of like hardware size finders if need be. So these worked well for me. So we're gonna take those screws. We're gonna pop them through the block here. See there's some nice extension out there down the bottom. And then we're gonna go ahead and screw this whole assembly onto the flip flat. And that right there is pretty freaking awesome. So super simple, got the spacer blocks on there, was able to do it for basically free. Um, and now we've got a nice spaced flip flat. So I probably will go back and um, redo these screws just with some Loctite because this thing is gonna be slewing all over and I don't want this flopping out. I'll probably put some blue Loctite on the end of both of those screws once I get it back out to the shop. Um, but overall, super successful. This will force the center of the scope to be much more centered on the flip flat. And I'm super happy that I went ahead and did this. So a little view behind the camera here. So just wanted to say, you guys got any value out of this video and you liked it, I definitely am super happy with the way that this turned out. Definitely drop a like on the video if this is something you're gonna do or if you like the video. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And lastly, hit subscribe to stay up to date with future videos from me. And uh, I hope that you guys all have clear skies and I wish you the best out there. Have a great rest of your day.